take on every shot. So the first thing you're going to do, you're obviously right-handed. I am right-handed, Yes, okay. Yeah. So if you take the cue in your right hand, yeah. stand stand back from the shot about here. Okay, I should, I should set the scene. So we're on the table, we've got a white and a red, and we're kind of in the, we're, it's in line for the middle pocket. Yeah, it? it's, yeah, it's a basic, it's just a, a 90 degrees to the table, so we can use the table as a bit of a, of a, of a guide. So you've got to stand in line with the shot. That's the first thing you have to do. When does the chalk come You can chalk whenever you want. And actually, chalking is a very important part of the game. Chalk whenever you feel happy chalking. Um, yeah, okay. yeah, well, yeah. I don't know if you can hear that. that. That's good chalking. Is it? Good chalking. Superb. And blowing. Should you blow it off? Well, there is pointless chalking oh, if you're going to blow it. You see, it's, it's, it's basically defeating the whole purpose by blowing it off. All right. That's why they, they, they don't call me interesting for nothing. Of course. Okay. So, okay. So stand directly in line with the shot as a right hander. Directly in line. Okay. Are you feeling like you're directly in line? Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So now you're going to place your right foot on the line of the shot. Okay, so okay. that's in line with the ball. With the line of the ball. Yeah. Obviously, you've got the, the cue in your right hand. Yes. Yes, course. now we have. Yeah, okay. So you're going to place your left foot uh, roughly where my left foot is. Right. Now, so, so you, that's, you have to plop, plop that in there. That's just in front. Just in front and to the left. Right obviously, and to the left. It would be probably the best thing to put your left foot to the left of your right foot. But generally, <laughs> that's good, that's good. You may be in ballet close. sometimes, they, they cross the legs. <laughs> <laughs> You may find you're a bit close to the ball, so perhaps we'll shuffle back a bit. Okay, really. You, only you so can know where I'm you're at. I'm probably... A bit further back than <laughs> Three feet back from the table, you think? Just, Am just I? Yeah, about yeah. three feet. Okay, now just grab the cue in your right hand. Right. Okay. Right leg dead straight. Dead straight. Yeah. Left leg bent. Oh, right, okay. Right leg dead straight. <laughs> Stretch <laughs> that hand. Stretch that hand. Stretch that hand. And then bend into position. Which is, uh, yeah. you may get some ooze from the back. Yeah. 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 Thank you. Oh, yeah. That's the same thing. Okay. Now, the bridge hand is a very important thing. The bridge hand is the closest point of contact to the cue. Just bridge your hand on the table, nice. spread it out. Wonderful fingers there. Uh, guitar player. I mean, okay, try and pull the cloth up like that. Is that legal? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep the palm on the on the floor. Oh, right, okay. yeah, that's, good, that's a good bridge. Then yeah. the thumb to the first knuckle of the index finger. Right, okay, right in tight against that, the top that's knuckle. Oh, the top knuckle. Yeah, right, right, cool. So you create a V there, and that V is where the cue runs through. And basically then, head on the cue, chin on the cue. Chin on the cue. Chin on the cue. On the cue right. Stretch that hamstring. Right. Make sure that hamstring stretched out. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll move the hair out of the way, it's not a problem I've got, that's good. Okay, and then it's down to you, only you can decide whether you're in line. Move the cue backwards and forwards, get the feel of the shot. Uh, How are you feeling? Uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> well, you look a bit uncomfortable. I've been this low for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and back and forwards. No, I, feel like nice... I feel like I'm a bit off to one Okay, side. then move a little bit, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Okay, so when you're... Move the cue back to the forwards, get a bit of freedom of movement with the right arm. A yeah. bit more movement, okay? Yeah. And then when you feel happy in your own time, before the end of the show, <laughs> yeah. hit the ball. Okay, what, what about, I'm worried about going in. You know, well, like, following it through. Yeah, that the white ball's going to follow well, it through. Well, that's, that's assuming you're in line in the first place. But I mean, well, we, well, we, can, count, we, can, we can stop that. We can put some back spin on later. But I mean, all first right. of all, we've got to pop the ball. So what you're saying is first things first, aren't you? We'll sort okay, so. <laughs> I feel weird with this yeah. cube rubbing against me beard, but I'm going to give it a go. A one, a two, a three. Ooh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, oh. Considering it was your first attempt, a lot of people watching, it may yeah, not have been your natural game, you may not have been right-handed. <laughs> yeah, I am right-handed. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> but generally, um, and that's... that's I did hit the ball. Yeah. yeah. And every shot you play, you've got to go through that process. A bit like in golf where they set up for the shot. So, no wonder it takes so long. <laughs> so that's why, basically, the snooker players have no life. Yeah. We basically just spend eight hours a day in a dark room doing that. <coughs> they call it chess with balls, don't they? They did call it chess with balls until some chess mathematician said that was very unfair on chess. Right. That as a mathematical equation, if chess, uh, if, snooker, uh, if chess equals uh, snooker with balls, and you took balls across to the other side of the, the, the equation, yeah. then chess is.